drilling protocol for 5.5 mm diameter implant without installation. Now we are going to demonstrate the order of drilling of future implant site with surgical drills of various diameter. To perform that we should follow classical surgical protocol. We take marker burr, it is needed to mark the place of the future implant. If we don't mark the place with this burr, next drill will slide off alveolar crest that will take impossible correct drilling for implantation. I would like to notice that different number of rotations are used during the drilling. The narrower diameter of drill, the more rotation quantity is allowed. Acceptable standards are within 200-1200 rotations. 500 rotations is an average recommended number. With every other drill, the number of rotations is decreased at average by 150-200 units. We have chosen depth of drilling, fixing it visually or putting the stopper onto the drill. This is a pilot drill, it sets the depth of the drilling and access for future implant. It is recommended to perform back and forth motions during the drilling to allow cooling of the bore and washing remnants away from its surface in order to avoid overheating of alveolar bone and prevent abruption of the implant in future. Next drill is 2.8 mm in diameter. With every subsequent drilling, we decrease rotations by 150 to 100 units. Drilling is started and stopped outside the bone, otherwise drill can be damaged. In addition, we would like to draw your attention to pressure, which will be very high during the passing of the top layer of compact substance. At the later stages, punchy substance will tighten the drill during its rotation. Therefore, we may press a little during the drilling in surface layers and vice versa to hold it in spongy substance. Generally, normal saline should wash the drill, cooling it at taking off the remnants. Next is 3 mm diameter drill. Drilling with it makes possible installation of implant with minimal diameter 3.3 mm. Next is 3.5 mm diameter drill. Drilling with it makes possible installation of 3.8 mm diameter implant. Don't forget to decrease number of rotations. We would like to draw your attention that all BR3 drills are of high quality and have diamond-like cover. Due to this, they are extremely sharp and don't overheat bone. Next is 3.9 mm diameter drill. Drilling with this drill allows installation of 4.2 mm diameter implant.
Next is 4.3 mm diameter drill. This drill prepares the site of 4.6 mm diameter implant. Drilling should be performed at low speed. When drilling, the alveolar crest with wide diameter drills, the risk of breaking of compact bar on the vestibular or oral surface increases. That is why rotations should be low and pressure must be light. Next is 4.7 mm diameter drill, which prepares the site for 5 mm diameter implant. I draw your attention to the fact that when drilling at low rotations, you obtain bone remnants, which could be used for further accompanying bone grafting. Next is 5.2 mm diameter drill. This drill prepares the site for 5.5 mm diameter implant. We decrease number of rotations. Site is prepared for 5.5 diameter implant. We have demonstrated classical surgical protocol for thick bone type implantation alike with D2. However, we draw your attention to the fact that each implantation is individual and surgical protocol could be changed according to thickness of the bone and type of implant surface aggressiveness. During implantation of implant with aggressive surface, drilling protocol could be changed according to its ability to self-drilling and compaction of the bone.